Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic here with you as always and we are playing uh, a special treat brand new uh, Menelik the second Ethiopia Civ, a uh, very heavy culture appeal based Civ. Fits right into my wheelhouse and I absolutely love this. Uh, we will certainly be searching for Earth Goddess as it will give us extra tu uh, tourism on our rock hewn church. Um, and we need to settle all of our cities on hills which we have a decent spot for here. Um, Rocking a single continent, a little bit of desert over here, uh, some stone resources. We do get benefit. We get faith from resources, though I'm more likely to chop all of this stone out um, and settle the diamonds is, is probably what I'm looking at. We have flat land here and here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on. We have flat land here and here, meaning each, either, either of these ways could be a double move. So let's just go there. And get no double moves. That's fine. That's fine. Let's settle the diamonds. We'll get a little extra. We'll get a 2-1-3 base just as you see it. We'll start with a 2-2 tile and have some decent tiles to expand to, including the stone tiles, um, which we can hopefully get uh, a ma our masonry boost and maybe pyramids in our second city. Lots of hills here, which is exciting. Turn 2 settle is solid. Start with the scout. Work our 2-2. Two, two. What direction do we want to go? Where do we think we are? If there's coast here, desert, and this is a mixture, it's really hard to tell which way would be best. I think I'm just going to keep going west. And let's go after astrology. I want to found a religion. I don't have an outstanding spot for a holy site right out the gate here. But maybe there's another one. We could certainly just get a plus, uh, a plus one and then maybe do something else with it later. It's not super exciting. Uh, also, this is a volcano, so that woods will go eventually. So that's interesting. All right. Coast. Really? Okay. I guess. Okay. Cross the river or stay close because barbs. Stay close because barbs. Tundra. All right, well, at least we have direction. We know we want to exp uh, explore north and uh, northeast here, northwest and northeast. Speaking of the barbarians, haha. -ha! St. Basil City over here could be interesting. Could be a thing, right? Some tundra and then potentially more. I have the power to speak barbs into the into existence, and I have the power to take it away. Aha. All right, I'm going this way. I want to scout out our potential Petra, and I'm going double scout here so that we don't get pigeonholed into uh, not exploring. That's the best move. Double flat. Heal up. And we deterred the scout, so we should have enough time to clear this. Not a Petra. We've expanded our borders and we're pop two, so we're still working two two tiles, which is nice. We also have some extra gold coming because of the diamonds and we'll wanna remember to sell that at our first option. Good uh, seaside resort land here, although we don't have a lot of ways to enable it uh, because there aren't a ton of like hills here it's for our rock hewn churches. Uh, so that would be interesting maybe in the long run. It might require Eiffel Tower. I think this is the type of sieve that you want to beeline the top half of your tech tree 
uh, and get immediately to flight so that our rock hewn churches can start giving us tourism. So interesting. No wonder yet, but I don't want to hard tech it. I find that getting a religion is slightly more available um, these days than it used to be. Let's go after horses and see what we can do there. Uh, get get our way to archery. Not super hilly over there. There's the hills. A couple of them. So one more swing, we get our promotion, and then we clear it. And we get started on a settler right away. Don't know where it's going, which is slightly awkward. It could come down here for the St. Basils. There's enough workable tiles to get them set up in a position where they want the St. Basils. But that wouldn't be my preference. Son, have you seen the reign of God? Is our astrology the boost? Beneath the mountains of God. There will be a ring in the sky where the water of God has Can passed. build ne districts next to this. And we get invited to our first society. So this is Secret Societies mode. This is a part of the Frontier Pass uh, and is my favorite thing that's kind of ever been added to Civ. Uh, very excited to be playing this. We got that. Uh, there are four different Secret Societies in the in the game. We just unlocked Hermetic Order, um, which, is, which is a pretty interesting one. It's not the one we want to go for here. We're probably looking at the Void, uh, which we'll need for a Goody Hut, which we have not found. Uh, maybe we, we don't even find it and can't get invited. That would be sad. Uh, but that's nice to grab a Governor here. Uh, boosts our astrology for us. And gives us the option of spending our governor right away. This first one only discovers ley lines, which give you a plus one bonus to districts next to it. It's always interesting. I, I hate I hate that there's no preview, right? Like, because there are games where you're going to appoint and, like, commit to the ley lines and just be like, reload. Because, because it, it'll be hit or miss. Now, um... We don't really want it this game regardless, so we're not in that spot. Uh, and we get to spend one of these governor promotions elsewhere, should we want to. Um, What would we want? Reyna isn't bad. Uh, talked about this briefly in our last attempt. But one of the nice things about Reyna is she gives you plus appeal. And so some of these tiles that are at three appeal will become Earth Goddess tiles. Uh, and then we can enable even more with our Rock Hewn Churches. We're lacking an early wonder, so something like Oracle could be a thing. We could also just save and grab um, and grab a Mani for an early Sue's immediately. We could look at Magnus for chopping this stone. Magnus is always worth it, but I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna try another attempt at Reyna. Sequencing is awkward. However, this is a first meet. They want a heavy chariot. We could have soothed and then found ill kill. Not that we would have had any idea that it was there and gotten a relic. Um, but hey, candy's nice and it's a first meet, so we'll get some extra faith going. Um, I still think... Okay, so envoys have changed. It used to be that you got two faith for this first meet. Now we only get one, which means in most cases, I kind of still want to run God King so that we get here in a reasonable time. So we may do that. Oh, all right, so finishing my movement there, we got Geneva, also a first meet, no, double notifications on each of these three, which one of them is the uh, envoy. Uh, and now we got invited to their society, which is good. Um, and Geneva's outstanding just in general. So a couple nice city-states for us, uh, probably sending my settler up here. So we, we want to finish scouting, uh, even though even if this is like kind of the end of the land there. And then... Yeah, that invites us to our owls if we want it. Uh, gives you an economic policy slot, and then each trade route you send to the city state gives you one envoy. You do have to spend governor promotions to get these, but they give you one when we unlock it. Uh, and because we've gone Reyna, I really want that forestry management. It's going to help our gold quite a bit, especially when we meet a city state and can sell these diamonds. Our gold per turn is going to start to snowball just a bit. I think if you're going to commit to Reyna 1, you need to go right to forest management. You need to do so with the intent of going to forest man forestry management. So 
So settling one of these tiles, probably the, uh, eh, I'm not sure yet, actually. No vampire invitation there. That third invite would have been great. I think we just awkwardly scoot around this barb camp. Three turns on Reyna getting established in our cap. She's going to expand our borders more quickly and give us some passive gold. Although I don't have a lot of features, it's notable. Until I, until I like, get... Yeah, well, it is what it is. There's another barb camp. Kind of awkward. But I think I'm looking at settling there. Am I going to go settle this? I'm not sure yet. It's a it's a long ways away. I wouldn't mind it. But I, I it's to me it's just as valuable to like steal tiles from city states, especially since I get to start with marble. I wish the marble were here so I could settle it, but it isn't. Uh, but working this tile is nice. Um, there's a quarry there too, so a eureka. Uh, and then yeah, we we get extra tile expansion, which is nice. Big fan of that. All right. Chiefdom I'm going to go Discipline. We've got a Barb Camp we already need to deal with. I'm going to wait one turn and buy a Warrior for it. And as I said, I think we want to run God King so we can get to Earth Goddess uh, as quickly as possible. Go after Foreign Trade. No Second Continent yet. Oh. Second Continent. Oh. Oh. Okay, so our, our, this scout can find it. So that's good. We've got this Eureka in the bag. Uh, might be a little awkward getting there, but we can get there. No heal. Ooh All right. So our third governor invite now. Um, and I don't know what that got us. What did that get us? Oh, an envoy. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's not so bad. Thanks. And we'll go this way and get the new continent. Pretty certain that, like, this is a fine settle. Seems to gobble up a, a, a good amount of land. Uh, misses out on this marble, notably. But I think that's okay. Yes, having a lot of governor promotions early on changes your strategy a lot. We could go ahead and grab our void here, which we kind of want. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that early suzerain and getting pretty tempted by it. Um, oh, nice. All first meets, too. There's some RNG luck for us. <laughs> Yes, by the warrior. I think I want that Suze of Geneva, maybe? Because I'm not going to contest a lot of their tiles regardless. So I don't really care what these immediate expands are. Like, we're going to hopefully take a bunch from Candy, which is why I don't want to suzerain them now. It would be interesting to do so uh, since we could have multiple relic slots right out the gate. Because part of the advantage of going for Void Singers is that our monuments give us a wild card uh, or, or a wild. What do you. I guess it's wild card ish. Uh, a hold anything slot for great works. I'm sorry, Carl. I love you. I just don't love stone circles. Upside of stone circles in this game. Uh, assuming assuming we get that before it, it erupts. Two, four, six, eight, ten faith per turn. Twelve. Twelve faith per turn. I will get probably, what, several hundred out of Earth Goddess? Why do you keep, because, because, uh, 
basically there are four invites because there are four tiers of governors that you need to promote eventually. So you get them front weighted, which is nice. Uh, but there are there's no more or less governor promotions in the game. Adding all this in, Mill. If there are no dogs. our foreign trade boost yeah nowhere to settle in between here so just kind of have to do our best by one by getting one big city i think and then i think i am going to commit to geneva then this will give us era score this will give us vision this will give us diplo favor which we can turn into gold i could also go for jerusalem Nah, I want Geneva. It works well with this ability too, like getting uh, getting our faith going and then having uh, science um, and then get, getting a percentage boost to that science with Geneva. Yeah, so we're only getting two gold per turn at the moment. If I buy this, we get it? Or no, yeah. These ones will... But a little bit of extra gold per turn. Rain is helping expand our borders quite quickly, which I find is a very useful thing in your capital. Uh, you need that tile selection. A physician without That's our astrology boost. A lot of snow right below us. That's going to have barbarian implications. All right, so we have astrology, animal husbandry. I'm going to tech towards archery, although I won't finish it. I want the option for later. Hmm, loops back around. Interesting. Kind of, kind of useless. I have to figure out where our best St. Basil city is. It looks like we're going to want to rely on one. Hey, that I can grab. Okay, all right. Mooth! Dude, thank you so much for the 19 months. Welcome back into the shop. Thank you very, very much. Woot. <laughs> Good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the support. Sure, and then we'll clear through. Okay. Monies. Lame. Ooh, I'm Gulen. Enjoy, enjoy. I want, I want a beer in a hot tub. That sounds like a nice day. That sounds like a real nice day. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so there's our Geneva suzerain. They grabbed the stone and the cattle uh, and then revealed a whole bunch of information for us. Uh, I could look to try to levy, although I don't have the resources to do it, and try to clear that out. I could also try to come up and snipe that with my scout, but I think we're committed to that direction. Uh, maybe later in the game we could settle something up here. Looks like nice land, frankly. Grab Alpine and shimmy through. Still think I like this as our first settle. Do you play games with online game speed? No. You can always tell the game speed by the total number of turns available in the game. Ours have 500, which is standard speed. 250 is online. 
Yeah, I can't really get over here and settle this realistically super soon. I'd rather get a quality second city going, take tiles from candy. It's like taking candy from... Can't... Candy from a... Tiles from... Hmm. We'll workshop it later. It's fine. So Pantheon next turn. I want a holy site. I mean, I do. Suppose I could throw it under the volcano. It's not super interesting. get my monument going. I'll figure out the districts uh, in a little bit. My man. Uh, Pete Nord and uh, Rourke, thanks for the follows. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to have you here. Breathtaking Appeal is here. That's the one we want. Uh, once again, Tundra is gone. Interesting. As is the Settler. And those are your best ones. So, uh, Earth Goddess. Doo -doo -doo. And again, Earth Goddess synergizes exceptionally well with the Civ. I obviously love it for a lot of reasons, but also uh, we're going to get extra tourism on our churches there later on, uh, which is good. I'd like to get a scout going this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. The worst scouting ever. <laughs> Good to know, Carl. I'm sorry to disappoint you, buddy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Hi, Nan. Nan is great, um, especially since we're looking at probably quite a few coastals. Uh, it is a Seven Seas map, so Nan is an excellent addition to what we're going to be trying to do. Districts on or next to coast provide plus two culture. Um, that's excellent. What's your quest? Train a heavy chariot. I think I will do that, and then I will suze them, and then I will be their suze, and they will call me Susie. Single envoy. Not a first meet on that one. The other ones were. This actually has already Hardy is uh, soothed, so maybe I'm not doing that. See, see what I mean with the early, uh, early suzerains going away and going really, really quickly. Amani being there already. Hey, there's our Earth Goddess. So we have we're working a little extra gold and a little extra faith. I wonder if this is enabled by Reyna. It's not. So Reyna could move. And Reyna could move up here, realistically, right? We don't have to keep Reyna in the cap. Uh, as long as, like, we're going to want Promo 2 Reyna for National Park City eventually at some point. And getting extra tile expansion and working this, like, marble and stealing tiles from candy makes a lot of sense. And then we could bring in whoever else in the cap. Whomever else. Barb problems. Okay. So, how do I, what do I do? How do I keep scouting? I guess there. I'm nervous I'm not gonna be able to get through this straight. So like maybe going this way is better. So because we have an extra four combat strength for all units on hills, our scouts are a reasonable source of dealing with a lot of the extra warriors and things that are going to spawn in these camps. 
Um, I agree that this city is far less interesting. It uh, doesn't have as much tundra as we thought. And so probably a skippable city and like build St. Basil's down here somewhere. Like this, this certainly has some potential. Can buy a builder in five turns. Want to stay on hills for sure, and I don't really, I don't really want my scout to be doing that. It's just kind of an option. All right, thirteen to twenty-five era score. I think I'm gonna go up that way. Do I want to send that first envoy to Nan? No, I was gonna get a heavy chariot. Uh, actually, let's set, let's send that. I should have sent that immediately. I think. Get that one culture going here. It synergizes with our border expansion from Reyna. Here's where we can look to maybe fortify and just chill. Uh, with this guy, I think I'm going after this. I didn't even realize somebody else was over here. So if we're going to get here, we need to get here quickly. Is great ben bath. There's Eleanor of England, which I prefer she's over France. Credit. And she's all the way up there. So she might be the, uh, yep, yeah, she's got Nan. And yes, indeed, we will go for diplomacy here. I was about to buy a uh, builder. But we'll have to delay that because I do want to send a delegation and try to make nicey nice. We already have a resource to sell. Six gold per turn is incredible. Let's just do six for now. I'll, I'll see if she's more interested in the Diplo favor in a couple turns, maybe. Six, six per turn is a lot for right now. She may not want it because she already has a bunch of uh, Diplo favor. So we can maybe meet whoever this is and sell it to them. This guy does not want to fight me. Okay. Well, I'm looking for huts then. for writing see if we can get some science going we're very isolated so we have the option of simming quite a bit although we as i said we need to rush over here if we're going to get anything going i'm disappointed I mean, it's tempting. It is two gold per turn, but I think it's more valuable elsewhere. There's a goody hut, by the way. You can try to go get that. Trader through here makes sense. I could also build that builder, although I can buy one next turn now. I think I will. I think I'll buy it here so that I can uh, sell this this um, marble. Still need ten era score. Can you not? K 
Can you just not? Ten turns on the era. Hoping to clear this and meet them. That'll account for four era score. Well, maybe only three. Uh, hoping to grab this. We'll grab that first, then we'll come down for that. So there's two more era score. I could move Reyna to Jerusalem. Or Amani, rather. For era score here. Oh, actually. Oh, no. It's fine. Is it? No, it's not. It's not going to be because they're they're certainly going to get there faster than my uh, Sue's. So I'm not going to get this. Huh. Huh. Candy. So what does candy get if we send it to them? It's We run a high risk that they're going to take these tiles from us. Could be this. Could be this. But I might have to. I could buy these two. I wanted to buy this. And we've got such good border expansion coming. Speaking of which, you go there now. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have to move. I don't have to move them right now. We can seize candy in a second. Mapuchi. Yeah, it's a little, it's again, like every time I roll this sieve, I'm like super tundra y. That works. Yeah, that works. Nice. That's a decent amount of gold per turn. So what I want here is money to send him a delegation. Hello, Nick. How's it going? No, well, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Maybe there's, maybe there's, um, oh yeah, we might get Sue's here because that their, their Amani is here with two, not three. So we might still get that error score. That'd be great. Good, good, good call, Zeb. Uh, yeah, I want to be able to send him a delegation. We're looking to be friendly. We've got a fair amount of land to sim, sim with. Delegation. And I want to trade elsewhere as well. And thank you for the follow, Nick. Welcome in. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. I want to come get this goody hut. All right, so even though they've left the camp open, it's also doomed my warrior. Like, I, I have to pretty much trade this warrior for, frankly, a, an invitation to the vampires. 
Um, but then also that camp, right? Like, that's pretty important. It's only two Aeroscore because it's pretty far away from us. Uh, we've got another Aeroscore coming. Uh, actually, three more, hopefully, in like two turns. So we're getting close to our golden. Jerusalem is a decent road for us, uh, but it's super risky. I think I'd rather just grab my uh, envoy in Geneva. We've already we've already soothed them once, so this shouldn't give them a new tile. And I'd rather just grab the uh, envoy while we can. Should you ever really war a city state and take them? Sure. If they're uh, if they're not doing anything for you, there are plenty of games where the city states that you roll are disappointing. I need a builder here now, and I'm gonna tech off of uh, craftsmanship. Another governor title. Um, in eight turns, I could grab our our void, which I think I will. So I'll hold on to it for now. I'm going to heal this guy up. Looked like a lot of barbs that were going to be an issue. Yeah, we're, we're streaming a little long today. I had a couple uh, shorter streams earlier in the week, so let's, let's, let's make it a proper stream day. Good. That sucks because we're not going to get the, um, the, the meat here, but we are next turn, right? So... <laughs> Zeb. <laughs> Indeed. Can you move? Please? One thing I like to have on Ethiopia is an early wonder to go for, and we really kind of don't. Can I explain how city-states get tiles? Sure. So candy here... Uh, the first envoy it doesn't affect their tiles at all, um, but if we were to send them another another envoy, they would grab another tile. That would allow city states to send two t two envoys there and not have them expand their borders. But on the third one, they would get another tile. So every every new uh, envoy that is the most that they can have, or that the most that they've ever had, gives them a tile. Can you seriously move? Candy. And it is Matthias over there. I was thinking it might be China, but Matthias makes sense. So that is him here. Uh, we're looking to be friendly. I don't really need your open borders, but would you like mine? Did you just offer me less? No. So if you send 10 envoys, they get 10 tiles? Correct. That's correct. Well, if they have 10 total envoys there, they'll get 9 tiles. Because, again, that first one is free. Three per turn's a lot. We're sitting on 24 gold per turn. It's turn uh, 39. Decent. 200. Might levy and clear this. That certainly wraps up our golden age if need be. Although we may not even need it. How close am I to this? Hey, you moved. Because you had to. Four turns here. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. We're, we're so close to getting this Eureka. We might as well go to Mysticism. And there are all four societies. So uh, economic policy slot and trade routes to city states give you an envoy. This reveals ley lines, which give you a standard adjacency bonus to your specialty districts that you build next to it. Um, the 
God, Old God Obelisk, which is what we're going to go for, gives us four faith on our monuments and then also has a spot for great works, uh, any of your choice. And then this would unlock a vampire unit. These are the four that are in the game. We got four extra governor titles already, which, uh, you know, allow you to go fully down one. Once you join one, you can't join another. Um, and I don't, I'm, I don't want to send it off because if I, if I, if I do the old god obelisk now, it breaks the production here, uh, or so I'm told. So I don't want to risk that. Go production here. Discipline makes sense. Simple favor can be worth saving, um, but early on, like getting getting gold per turn, like selling that eight diplo favor for three gold per turn is huge. Um, there are certainly instances where you'll want to keep your diplo favor and and win congress and stuff um but at this stage of the game it's turn 39 like any economy i can get i don't care if it's faith gold uh science culture i want it i want all that economy and the diplo favor won't even kick in until the middle middle uh medieval era so it makes sense to sell it at least um in small increments for now It's a good question. So T asks, uh, do they get do they get one more for each envoy or each increase in envoys? For example, if I have two and Aztecs have three, if you send them two, do they get two tiles or one? They only get one. So the 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 third envoy just ties the Aztec, and then the fourth one is more. So that's when they get the extra tile. The extra tile. Yeah, vampires are super fun. Vampire castles are great. We'll be doing let's plays on all of these. Five turns on the era. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there in time. Uh, Pantheon turn was... 24. Is it worth trying for a Dark Age in the Classical and a Heroic after that? Uh, certainly can be. It certainly can be. Uh, it's it's preferable to getting like a normal and then a regular. Uh, it just depends on what you have going on in your game already, right? Like if you can't take advantage or if you're nowhere near, like yeah, it would make sense to avoid um, av avoid an age and, and try to get a Heroic after. Uh, but if you're in a spot where that loyalty is going to punish you, then that is not a good strategy. All right, I need two era score in four turns. Sell your scout. You can't sell your scout. That's a vanilla mechanic. Come on, two era score. I don't think I sold the extra marble, actually. Only three turns left now. So what happens if I sues here? Or if I levy? Nothing nothing that isn't already happening naturally. Now, they might screw up their unit movement to some degree. But it also might get cheaper if they lose a unit here.
Yeah, chariots, interesting. Can I get there in time? No. I don't have a resource to mine. Because the levy itself is only worth one. I have to then clear this camp. Mysticism. So I think this just got cheaper, right? Nope. Just move back. Yeah, I don't think I can actually clear that in time. Come on, scouts. Scout me up something nice. Am I going to miss this by one point again? <sighs> this is my only hope. Who are you? <laughs> Are you Eriscore? Is that you, Eriscore? Are you just on the other side of these woods? Uh, okay, well. That's it. Levy 2 CS? What's your levy? 240? I can almost do that. I can exactly do that? Don't you only get error score for the first one, though? I, I thought it was only one. Ha ha. Who who gets who gets cool per, per person points? Who said that? Agru. You get a clappy. Well done, my friend. Yeah, love you the second city state. Perfect. All right, we got there. We got there. All right, and with that and the end of this era, let's go ahead and put a cut in the video here. We'll keep exploring and start planning some cities, figure out what the heck we're going to do with this kind of, again, somewhat awkward land. Uh, but we'll we'll figure out where a nice St. Basil's is going to go. Looks like we're going to have some spots for there. If I can get over here and settle Ilkill in time, I'll be happy to. Uh, and maybe there's some decent land up here that we could come and settle some, some later, later on cities. Um, and yeah. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much. If you're watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.